Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about Edge Triggered SR Flip-Flop. So before going into Edge Triggered SR Flip-Flop, let us see what are the different flip-flops we have and what are the symbolic representations of such flip-flops we are going to see in this. So first there are four different flip-flops we have, SR Flip-Flop, SR Flip-Flop and second one D Flip-Flop. D flip flop, third JK flip flop, JK flip flop, and fourth one T flip flop. T flip flop. SR flip flop. We know SR stands for set reset. SR stands for set reset. And D stands for data or we can also call it as a delay flip-flop. Data flip-flop or delay flip-flop. Why it is called delay flip-flop? I will explain when we go into the D flip-flop. Output is generated after one clock pulse. That's why it is delay flip-flop. Output is same. Output is same as input. But it is generated after a clock pulse. That's why it is delay flip-flop. And JK. JK means Johnson and Kelby. Johnson and Kelby, which is Johnson and Kelby flip-flop, JK flip-flop. Okay, we know in the last video I have explained how D flip-flop or D latch is made from the SR latch. Okay, D flip-flop is a part, is a subset of SR latch because S, S or if you combine these two with an inverter and take a single lead out that will be acting as a D flip-flop. Okay, and another set is a JK flip-flop which is originated from the drawback of the SR flip-flop because in the SR when, when S is equal to 1, R equal to 1, the outputs are Q and Q bar same which is an indeterminate state. So to avoid such indeterminate state in SR latch, we are going into JK flip-flop. JK flip-flop, we are taking a feedback from the output again to the input gated uh, NAND gates so that that particular 1-1 one, one case is eliminated which is the indeterminate state we have discussed in SR flip-flop but that particular problem is eliminated in JK flip-flop. Okay, if you again combine J and K inputs, short-circuited inputs and take one lead output then you will get T flip-flop. T stands for toggle. Toggle flip-flop. Every time it toggles the input, it toggles the output. So 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 like that we will get. Okay, uh, see here just I have explained orally what do you mean by JK and D flip-flop. But when we go into such topics, uh, JK flip-flop, uh, T flip-flop separately, I will explain how JK flip-flop is constructed and, and, and how that indeterminate uh, state problem is eliminated. And I will also explain how this uh, T flip-flop is made from the JK flip-flop. If you see the symbolic representations of this all, flip-flops symbols of all these symbols are very easy just you have to draw a block with inputs yes r and clock edge triggered clock you have to represent that clock representation as like this this means it is a clock it is clock and it is q q bar See, this representation is positive clock, positive edge triggered. We can say positive edge triggered. Positive edge triggered, yes, sir. Flip flop. Okay, first I will draw all positive edge triggered. Positive edge triggered flip flops. Pause to edge triggered flip flops. So the first one is SR flip flop, and the second one is second one is this is clock <coughs> D, and this is clock. Okay, this is Q Q bar. This is D flip flop, and next. J, K, this is the clock input and this is Q, Q bar. Next, T flip-flop, you are having a clock here. 
this is clock q q bar okay these are the symbols of the pause to edge trigger flip flops all these four and when we go into negative edge trigger flip flops you will be having a bubble here okay negative edge trigger flip flops symbols for the negative edge trigger flip flops so first yes sir d j k and here t so yes sir flip flop d flip flop j k flip flop and t flip flop so here yes are two inputs now the clock will be having a bubble this is the clock q q bar when you have a bubble at this clock means it is a negative edge trigger negative edge trigger means when it is going downwards the clock when goes downwards the flip flop comes into active state and it is d you have a bubble this is the clock q q bar next j k you have a bubble this is the clock next q q bar and it is t you have a bubble clock q q bar here the flip flops are coming into active state when it is having a rising edge okay it is pause to edge trigger means rising edge and it is negative edge trigger means falling edge okay now let us see the operation of sr latch with edge trigger sr latch so let us see edge triggered sr flip flop sorry edge triggered sr flip flop it should not be called as latch because it, uh, this sr device is operating with clock so clock came into existence means that is known as flip flop okay so edge triggered sr flip flop edge triggered sr flip flop the operation is same okay the truth table is also same but everything happens when clock has a rising edge yes r here we have a clock this is q q bar okay here we have rising edge rising edge of the clock now instead of in the truth table instead of taking enable pin we have to take clock yes or previous state and pn plus 1 this is the status of the output okay truth table is same as your you know, basic sr latch gated sr latch but instead of taking enable pin here we are taking clock and instead of taking one here for enable pin we need to take rising edge okay rising edge representation is up arrow if it is a negative edge triggered we have to represent that in the down arrow okay so 0 0 0 0 0 1 zero, 0 1 0 Zero one one, one zero zero, one zero one, one one zero, one one one. Okay, all these are for raising edge of the clock. Okay, and for falling edge of the clock, falling edge is nothing but in the remaining cases. In the remaining cases, when clock is not in raising edge. we can say in remaining cases remaining cases in remaining cases irrespective of sr inputs if it is zero output is zero if it is one that means previous state output is one so no change in the output and what about this one we know very well when both are zeros output is same as the input when both are once it's an indeterminate state and 0 1 is nothing but reset 1 0 is nothing but set okay here it is 0 1 
so 0 0 means previous state so 0 means 0 1 means 1 0 1 means it is reset so output is equal to 0 1 0 means set 1 1 means indeterminate state okay so it is no change reset set and indeterminate state okay if you observe the truth table truth table is same as your enable pin truth table but here instead of taking enable pin we are taking clock with a raising edge okay uh, if you verify the waveforms see when we go into the clock signals definitely you should understand with respect to the clock signal you should explain the operation of that particular flip flop with respect to the clock so you are having clock a continuous clock is nothing but a continuous cycle continuous pulses with a specific interval of time so this is rising edge here 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 and take some this is the clock signal take some random signal yes or on x-axis it represents time okay Okay, take some random signal. Let us start with the zero. This time taking a random signal. okay now the output q see how i am going to draw the q waveform if you if you are able to draw the q waveform q bar is opposite with the q okay now wherever you are having the rising edge draw a dotted line draw a dotted line from that point Okay, because at that time you are having the change in the output waveform. Okay, see, assume initially until the occurrence of first instance, assume initially the output is logic 1. Initially, I am taking the output is logic 1. Now, when rising edge of the clock occurs, it, it has the state s is equal to 0 or equal to 1. When raising edge of the clock occurs, it has s is equal to 0 or equal to 1. What do you mean by s equal to 0 or equal to 1? It is a reset stage. If you want, you can go back to the truth table and check. Raising edge s equal to 0 or equal to 1. It is a reset. What is the output? Output is equal to 0. Output is equal to 0. So simply output goes to 0 output goes to 0 and again the same this particular change whether it goes to logic 1 or continues in the same state this will be determined again at the one more rising edge so you can continue the journey up to another rising edge so till this point and again come to this rising edge at this rising edge the status of s and r we need to check s is equal to 1 r is equal to 0 s equal to 1 means it has to be set the output has to be set so set means 1 so output goes to 1 again the journey goes to another state when we come to this particular point third instance see this is first instance this is second third and fourth when we came to this first third instance at this third rising edge the status of s is equal to 0 or equal to 0 s equal to 0 or equal to 0 and the rising edge of the clock nothing but it continues the same state previous state so previous state is one here so previous state again when come to this one s equal to 1 or equal to 1 it's see s equal to 1 or equal to 1 it's an indeterminate state so it again goes in the same state 
okay so in this way we will generally this particular state will not give in the question but randomly when we are picking up it it has come like this otherwise you can continue with the same zero then output will be something like zero because the reset is active okay you can continue that for better understanding that is better to take because it is indeterminate state indeterminate state we cannot explain see it's zero it goes in the zero yes goes in zero and r equal to one see when we come to this when we come to this fourth raising edge fourth raising edge gives s is equal to zero r equal to one r equal to one means reset so again it goes back to zero this is the sr flip-flop with raising edge what about q bar q bar is simply opposite of the q so initially it is zero and one here zero and again one one okay this is the output waveform of sr flip-flop output waveform of the positive edge triggered sr flip-flop thank you